Hi, it's Christian here. Welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Today I'm going to tie this one. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. A 10, 10 uh, coquillon shrimp, which, uh, yeah, in my opinion, it's very close to the, to the real thing. With some very coloring and markings uh, built in to this pattern. So this is uh, definitely gonna be tested on the coast ASAP. And the materials uh, for this one are, are not many. Start by some uh, cotillon, uh, whitings, pardo, this one. And the uh, thread I'm gonna be using is the, the white um, power thread from Vivas. And a size six light stinger from Alex. And I made a dubbing blend. First of all, I used some uh, some orange um, Kuna dubbing uh, for mouth parts or strike point, uh, if you wish. And then I blended uh, half and half some uh, tan STF dub with some uh, Kuna dubbing, also in tan. It's not the tan one, but um, half and half of tan and uh, STF. Because the tan, uh, the STF is longer in the fiber, the fibers in the vacuna, uh, but the vacuna dubbing has some nice uh, uh, texture and uh, length, uh, which adds to the to the fly as well, in my opinion, to the pattern. And um, some easy strip eyes, black, extra small, secure all with some red sap, of course. Adds a bit of uh, lip weight underneath it all, and some bling bling with some mid flesh. This is beetroot color. That's about it. Not very, not very many materials, but you get a fly lip that is very lifelike and uh, going to go crazy in the water. This should be a killer. So let's try and tie this one. Follow along for more action. Let's go. Okay, now we're ready. We're tying uh, this one. A 10 cotillon shrimp. And I used uh, I used uh, Arix uh, light stinger, size six for hook. And uh, the thread is the, the Vivas uh, power thread. I'm gonna, gonna start by I'm gonna start by making some a strike point down here to the back with some Kuna uh, uh, fluorescent orange dubbing, which is uh, of course fluorescent, but also it's not very very long in the fibers, and, uh, which I like for this. For this uh, strike point, so I'm gonna make a bunch of dubbing down here. Then I'll take my my little brush here. So now we got a little tail going on here, a little strike point. And then it's a, a question of mixing two two types of dubbing. Use the orange, no, no orange, tan, STF from Flyco, and some uh, Vicuna dubbing in tan as well. Half and half, and it ends up in a blend like this. I wanted to add some STF because of the longer, longer fibers. Uh, also for the, for the antennas I'm gonna tie on now. 
So that's why I had to add some longer, longer fiber dubbing. If you don't have the vacuum dubbing, then yeah, some SLF or something that's not too long fiber would work as well, I guess. But I'm like, I like this one. But before getting to all the tail and the rest of the, I'm just gonna add a bit more dubbing here in front of the orange. the same amount that's the orange Time less than the two previous times, but it's all about getting something to stick my eyes, my shrimp eyes, uh, to in a second. See, like this, tie this, this in as well, comb it out. So that's the mouth parts done. Then I'm gonna use some uh, easy trim bikes, of course, in extra small black. And um, take one of these bad, bad boys and uh, get rid of a half a centimeter or so. go and add this on top of on here up here somewhere make sure it on straight here them even more in a little, little while with some UV resin. Then I'm gonna take some of my uh, my whiting pardo feathers here and I've selected selected one and I'm gonna get rid of uh, the fluffy stuff down here I don't know about that but I'm gonna strip this part of the fly Get rid of the, take the fibers and tie in as an as a part of the fly now. So let's do that. So let me see. Then I got a little bunch here of um, part of fibers I'm gonna put that smack in between the eyes here secure those Take some of this, this uh, root beer mid rainbow flax. I found the name finally. Uh, which is uh, my preferred uh, preferred flash at the, mo at the moment. It's very subtle and not very. It's not going overboard with the with the flash, but it's but this is 
the brand Mitch Rainbow Flash. Comes in so many nice colors. And uh, this was a, a root beer color. It's almost orange greenish or something. Don't know what that has to do with root beer to be honest, but yeah. With that done, I'm gonna take some uh, lead wire. And I'm gonna place this down here. making sure it's in the middle so the fly doesn't tip over or makes weird in the water or anything now that's done and we're gonna go back again see if you want a really really simple fly I guess you could didn't have to you don't have to add more up here um, it's gonna be really small I, guess, I think this looks nice as well but I am nonetheless gonna take some uh, some of my blend of topping here and just um, try to to make it long by pulling and making on top and this way aligning the fibers and then I'm gonna place them on top uh, and a little longer than the than the federal fibers you just uh, you just uh, put on. Tie this in. I'm gonna tie uh, the rest of the topping in up here in front as well to add some volume to the, to the fly. And then I'm gonna form a little topping loop. And then um, in my loop, I'm gonna Take some of my topping again, like this, and put in my loop in an even layer. It's not it's not very much, but a little bit, really not much. And with that uh, secured in my loop, I'm just gonna comb it out. It, try to get all the loose fibers off and get it in an even layer like this. You see, and if I could just find there it is. Now I'm just gonna just gonna go around here. One way, one round, or that's about it. It's just to add a bit of, a bit more dubbing down here in the back. Secure it. And 
Just give it a little brush. Doesn't matter, it's, it's not perfect, but here because it's gonna be covered, but it's gonna add a little bit more transparency and uh, dubbing here towards the end. Then it is time to take the rest of my Pardo feather here and uh, try to measure how long you want your if you take your feather here and see how long you want the fibers. I don't want them too long, so I'm gonna tie in around here. this and tie it in. So I'm gonna do that now. And to secure it all I'm gonna take some red set now just both to secure the cotillion and the eyes and the lid and make it even more doable this fly. I'm just going to add the, the resin here. Here I'm just going to secure and uh, just loosely wrap it in. Uh, uh, use your brush here to get out all the fibers. Then I'm gonna take my feather or what's left of it and just go around here. Take it around. And then some loose three or four. Here and secure it at the, at the front. Like so. These uh, Young um, fibers there are going to look really nice in the water. Tie the similar one uh, to this one, another colors, another type of cocktail, but same pattern to be uh, And uh, that one looked really nice in the water. And uh, sea trout, uh, yeah, they thought so too. So that was nice. Then it's just a question of uh, giving a good beating here with the brush. Here. 
letting like this. This one is in the water with all these uh, colors going on. This is insane, in my opinion. This should work for sure as a lifelike. We are in the spring now, so so this should be a good color. Then it's just a matter of getting a bit of varnish up here. So it doesn't um, so it can take a beating from a lot of sea trout. Teeth, teeth, hopefully, hopefully. But there you have a um, transparent, lifelike little tan shrimp with some coquillon and some uh, mid rainbow flesh in root beer. I hope you enjoyed the movie and I am going to, to try this one at your local fishing spot. I think we have a winner here to be honest so uh, please subscribe for more content and leave a comment if you or even a like if you like this little tutorial and uh, i will see you next time bye bye